if your layout looks like this, or this, you need to watch this video. Hey guys, I'm Devrol and in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know from A to Z to create better layouts. Also, I will make a small layout speed build at the end of the video for an example. With that being said, let's -a go! A layout is considered as the skeleton of the level itself. It uses practically no decoration and most of the blocks are, you guessed it, basic. Even though it seems simple, making a layout is very important. Indeed, it helps you visualize where you have to put decoration in to see if the level is enjoyable or not. Plus, a layout has many criteria that can be judged on. The song, the sync, the structures, the visuals and finally, the most important of all, the gameplay. Now that you know what is a layout, let's move on to the criteria. Before creating, you must choose a song that's good and you don't get annoyed to, which can evolve into a lack of inspiration. Most songs on new grounds are very cool, but you don't have the permission to use it in a level. Though, if you choose a song that's very good and you can use it in Geometry Dash, the chances for the song to be overused are extremely high. At this point, if you want to be more original, you might go for an NONG song that you like on YouTube, like I did for Godzilla. If you don't know how to replace a song in Jump to Dash, I put a link for the tutorial in the description. There are many ways you can use to make good gameplay. You first need to choose if you want to make a layout off the ground or stick to the ground. Then, start building platforms that return to the music. The more difficult your level is, the more clicks and gameplay you'll have. Gameplay is essential to make a good level because if you don't make proper gameplay, then your level will be annoying and hated. Try to avoid making straight fly parts, UFO spam, spam, trolls and copy and paste sections. This is what's the most difficult in the process into making the layout. To make good sync, you'll need to analyze the song. Then, when you found the melody and the beat, try to make your gameplay sync with both of them and, of course, your clicks. The best way to make sure you have perfect sync is to playtest the song repeatedly in the editor. The result should be more engaging and fresher. This is the final touch into making your layout. It is totally optional, but if you want to upload it on GD or YouTube, you may take this step into consideration. It consists of adding more structures to your layout to make it fuller and less empty. Also, you can add pools, move, rotate triggers, whatever you want. Don't forget it must be a layout though. Before making your layout, I made a list of my favorite tricks that you can include into it to make your gameplay less repetitive. These are all of my knowledge and they are also very enjoyable to play.
Now that you learned these tricks, it is time to build your layout. I'm going to make a 30 seconds layout speed build just for an example. Feel free to get inspired if you want and watch till the end to see the final result. We'll be right back. 